Well, a South Fulton condo complex is in hot water tonight after another man was gunned down there. Shots rang out around 6 o'clock this morning at the Camelot condos on Camelot Drive, and tonight that shooter is still on the run. Our Fox News' Christopher King joins us live in South Fulton tonight. Christopher, this complex has a troubled past, doesn't it? Russ, would you believe they've had six deadly shootings there? That's this year alone. We speak with the police chief and local leaders. They tell us they're working to clean up the problem. Wendell Lowe shot and killed early Wednesday morning when someone opened fire inside a car here at the Camelot condominiums. It appears that he had sustained multiple gunshot wounds. Police say the victim knew his killer. The shooter took off. So far, no motive. Chief Keith Meadows says the complex has been the site of gang activity. We've had some problems uh, in this particular community with gangs uh, in the past. Camelot has seen its share of problems. A woman shot and killed a man in self-defense in July. A teenager gunned down earlier this year. And a man was shot and killed in January. Well, we've had six homicides in that complex so far this year. Meadows says his officers stepped up patrols in that area. It's important for us to make sure uh, that we're identifying the right players so that we're targeting the right individuals. Is this a trouble complex? Well, it's no more trouble than any other area. Councilman Corey Reeves represents District 5. It's a cancer that lives in Camelot that must be removed. Reeves says he just bought property in the complex. He says he's working with police and the HOA to try to make it a safer place to live. We had, uh, with the police, uh, cars out here being tagged and towed and impounded. And so these abandoned cars and just we have a few abandoned units that need to be dealt with. And that's what we're going to do. Now, Chief Meadows says they're making progress with the gang problem. As for this latest shooting, no description on the gunman. Call police if you have any information on the shooting. There is a $2,500 reward for any information leading to an arrest. Live in South Fulton, Christopher King, Fox 5 News. All right, Christopher, thanks for the latest there.